Lakeland PBS presents Common Ground, brought to you by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota. Production funding of Common Ground is made possible in part by First National Bank Bemidji, continuing their second century of service to the community, member FDIC. Welcome to Common Ground. I'm producer-director Scott Knudsen. In this two-segment episode made by the two newest additions to Lakeland's legacy production team, we visit the Butter and Dairy Museum in Vergas, Minnesota, and the Crowing Viking Fest in Brainerd. Welcome and welcome to the Crowing Viking Festival. It's August 21st. And the festival opened at 10 a.m. this morning and it goes till 4.30 this afternoon. This is our second annual festival. We weren't, of course, able to do it last year. There are a ton of fun things to do here. Viking Fest is a celebration of all things Viking. There's so much misinformation, and the first one is that Vikings had horns. The horns came about from an 1800s Wagner opera. The costume designer thought that horns on helmets would be cool, and they are, but that wasn't what the real Vikings were about. There's a lot of misconceptions about the Vikings, my ancestors, and so this celebrates all things legitimately real viking so we came up with that slogan real vikings no horns there's a lot to learn they're very interesting people very sophisticated uh, very structural society women were held in high esteem and there's a lot to know about uh, the viking culture i'm julie guth and i'm the coordinator for the crowing viking festival and i'm one of a group of seven people who do the planning for this and I just, I love Vikings, and so I wanted to share actual Viking culture, real Vikings, no horns, with people in the area and from all over. I'm Dan Hegstead, and I am a volunteer with the Crow Wayne Viking Festival. I do a lot of the PR and marketing, and we're a small group, so I do kind of whatever needs doing. One of the reasons there's so many people at the Crow Wing Viking Festival is because there's just so much to see and do here. If you look around, you see so many families. And who wouldn't want to come to Brainerd, Minnesota for a nice weekend in the summer and enjoy this? And the kids are having a great time. There's a whole building of kids' crafts and things for kids to do. Jacob here, my new friend, was showing me the crafts that he made. This is a flying dragon. Nobody else made it with a flame because I thought it would be cool, so it's breathing fire. This is my shield. The middle is supposed to be like an eyeball. There's also rune writing. Kids can write their names in, in runes, and it's in self-hardening clay. And there are a few other crafts in the building as well. It's been a really popular area. We have lots of food for the whole family. And then behind me, the Viking encampment is, is what if these Vikings were traveling and they stopped for a few days, this is what you'd see. I'm here at the Potter. We have almost everything here. We have pottery, we have wood supplies, we have jewelry, we have drinking horns. There's someone working on a warp-weighted loom over there, which is what they use to create the sails for the ships, among other things. There's so many things here. All the crafts, there's a blacksmith, people doing open fire cooking. We 
also have somebody who wrote an epic poem that he has illustrated in a book that's going to be around here too, and he's going to be doing readings. Some lumpish rings, a gilded aurochs horn, crusted with gems. A sentry shrieked, the devils thronged, and all but 30 of my men were torn to shreds. We have the mock battles, and people are really enjoying that. It's family friendly, but still very realistic. They do a great job of balancing that, keeping that family friendly. The Vikings have always fascinated me, and of course, you know, I'm a Norwegian American, at least partly. And so it's, it's part of my cultural heritage. And so I've always wanted to know more, and I was absolutely delighted to find out that the Vikings did more than just raiding. You know, that, that there was a whole really complex culture that was highly artistic, for, for one thing, and the ships that they built were state of the art. I love this event because it's real. Real Vikings, no horns. It's fun, but the organizers were serious that it's not gonna be silly. This isn't a costume party. This is about the real Vikings, my heritage. When I did the, uh, the, the genetic test, it showed a very small part of Norway and a little bit of Sweden. That's where my people are, is right there. So I'm all Scandinavian and this celebrates my ancestors. And they were some really interesting people. They did some pretty nasty stuff. There's no question about that. But the culture uh, was something to be celebrated and I'm really glad to be involved in that. It started because I attended a Viking festival in Moorhead, Jomkomst, and I thought it was so interesting and I started talking to the reenactors and I thought, wow, wouldn't that be a great event to bring to the Brainerd community because it's totally different from anything else that we have here. When we did the first Viking festival two years ago in Niswa, <laughs> we had no idea how many people were going to come. 200, 300. We had almost 950 people at that first one. So we knew we were doing the right thing. Uh, Niswa was great, but just not enough room to even host the thousand people that came. But here we are at the Crow Wing County Fair, which is such a great venue for us because we have plenty of room to do the mock battles, a nice location here for the Viking encampment, tons of free parking, all the food vendors, we have all that infrastructure, power, and so forth that they need. Animals, you can have animals at the fairground, so we've got the horses and the sheep and we can expand that. I hope even bigger and better than this, we'd like to add reenactors every year, um, we'd certainly like even more vendors who are doing Viking related things to come in. But this could be a huge event for years to come. We could have thousands of people coming to the Crow Wing Viking Festival. I really think it's a regional event. There's a lot of Norwegians in North Dakota, Wisconsin, all over Minnesota. I think people can come here to Brainerd and enjoy this for years to come. For the runes he wanted to win.